You have to really watch your inner child when you're at a farmer's market. And to be kind to me. I am raising future citizens of the United States of America. What do you do? One fortunate day of October 2011, a couple friends and I were given a challenge to research a chemical that interferes with our food chain. We chose the chemical styrene, which was just classified in the summer of 2011 as a reasonably anticipated human carcinogen. That means it can cause cancer. I couldn't believe how many places styrene is hiding. It's in takeout containers, packing peanuts, and even in my dad's coffee cup that he gets on the way to work every day. The one place that shocked me the most was when I saw it was in the trays at our school. I learned that styrene can get from the trays into the food. The other thing that bothers me about that is one styrofoam tray can take about one million years to decompose. Why should I be using something that takes one million years to decompose just to carry my pizza and french fries to a table 20 feet away? Millions and millions of styrofoam cups, trays, packing peanuts, and who knows what else are thrown away each year. Can you imagine how bad for the environment that can be? My peers thought that too. Convenient enough, we were in the persuasive paragraph unit in school. We asked the teacher if we could use a styrene subject in class and she was all for it. First, I had to teach this class what styrene is and how bad it is for us in the environment. Teaching was a little harder than I thought, but in the end, almost everyone had a good idea of what it was. Then, it was time to get down to business. I split the class into three groups. Poster making, PowerPoint making, and speaking parts for the PowerPoint. After several weeks, we made great progress and got the job done as a team. We invited the principal and the school food director in for our presentation. Then we presented it to her parents. Then we presented it to the entire school at the end of the year award ceremony. Being on stage made me very proud of what my classmates and I accomplished. We were educating even though we were just fifth graders. But that is not the end of the story. After all the hard work, the Eastern Middle School has now reduced styrene tray use by an astounding 98%. It has switched out most of the styrene trays to plastic trays instead. Our family now uses only aluminum takeout containers at restaurants. My dad asked for a cardboard cup in his coffee on the way to work. My family will reuse any packing peanuts that come our way. Now the real question is, what can you do to help? How can you make a difference? I did a lot of research into styrene and styrofoam, and I'm happy to share with any young people wanting to change what their schools use. Just email my mom at christymarsh at choosewiser.com asking for styrene source information. Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with.